Anthony Richardson starting for the Colts again. Hey, now. Free AR5. Free AR5. He's back on the field. He learned his lesson. Yep. Okay, he learned his lesson now. The culture uh, in that Colts facility has certainly been called into question. Big time. Uh, by the own players, fans, alumni, obviously, which I'm going to consider myself, and uh, people around the city. You know, when some of your best players are coming out saying, like, yeah, like, I don't know what the hell's going on in here. <laughs> Kenny Moore, like, we don't work hard. Mm -hmm. Quentin Nelson comes. Team preparation, good. Individual preparation, not great. It's like, what? are you guys professionals or not? And how long has this been happening? And, you know, Jeff Saturday was kind of brought in to be the new head coach, interim head coach, after Frank Reich was fired. And uh, the word was kind of like, Jeff Saturday's coming in there, and he's basically telling him, like, hey, this ain't how professional football goes. And he was taking it on the shins by everybody. Obviously, fans were like, this guy sucks as a coach. And then uh, players were like, this isn't fun. We're not allowed to just be late to meetings and like skip training and do everything like that. What is this all about? A little accountability. So then Shane gets in here and he's a guy of accountability, we assume, coming from Sirianni. And then we, one thing leads to another. We got another quarterback in here. We got another quarterback in here. The players, I think, are kind of fed up with the entire rotation of how it goes. But I, I think a lot of people in that building uh, don't know that your ass will be replaced very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think they almost got too comfortable. AR got an opportunity to sit back, watch, hopefully learn from a lot of people talking like, hey, quarterbacks operate differently, have to operate differently. And when he's in there, he's electrifying. He can run for a hundo. He can throw for five hundo. Mm -hmm. He might miss a few because he's still a rookie quarterback, even though he's in his second year. He wasn't in the building much last year, which once again, don't love. I don't think that would have happened in any building that's worth a shit if your rookie quarterback has surgery. I think they're still going to be back in there learning stuff. So once again, not AR's fault mm -hmm. that he seemingly doesn't have anybody to like kind of teach him the ways, but hopefully Joe Flacco has done that, and the team still in it. Still we watched the Dolphins win on Monday night. They're three and six. Their team's like, yeah, we can go and run. We can get in there for that seventh seed. We can do that. We have more wins than they do. Mm -hmm. We have a Schedule, now you got the Jets, then you got the Lions, then you have a bye, or, or uh, Patriots, then you got a bye, then you got some winnable games. Yep. It's like, we are still in playoff yeah. hunt, which is why I feel like I was kind of bamboozled a little bit. Mm. <laughs> so when I came out and was like, put Joe Flacco in the damn game, we can win these games, we can still make the playoff, we can have a home playoff game, which we have, we can still win the AFC South, we haven't done that in 10, we haven't done that since Chris Ballard has got here. Mm -hmm. We have not won Jeez. in a long time, but I feel like we have long the team time. to do it, we've invested a lot of money, then you start hearing the stories coming out of it, it's like, maybe we don't, maybe we don't have a, a single chance of doing anything, but with everything in front of us, Anthony Richardson going back in there, hopefully there's a little bit of a learning curve mm -hmm. over the last couple of weeks on how you got to operate as a quarterback, and we don't expect him to be perfect, but man, he should be electrifying, I hope. Yeah, we know he's going to be electrifying. We know he has the talent, just like we had the conversation about Caleb Williams yesterday with him losing his OC. As a player, as an organization, I'm sure you never want to be back and forth, back and forth with your young quarterback, old quarterback coming in. Obviously, Joe Flacco did not light it up once he got in there. I was right there with you. Yeah, hey, he's going to give us the best chance to win right now with how the team is constructed. So hopefully this is a great learning experience for Anthony Richardson. He set back, saw it from a different perspective, maybe learned something different, gets another opportunity. Maybe he values this one a little bit more. And, and shit, we all been there. As a young player, you got to learn. Sometimes it's the hard way, sometimes it's different ways. So, well, I got arrested. Yeah, he, I got yeah. <laughs> I mean, got, there is. Is Don't a, learn. There's a yeah. learning possibility you, for everybody. It's big. It's, it's, it's a lot on your plate, especially as that CEO um, of the team when you are that quarterback. So, obviously, from the beginning, I've been hopeful uh, and optimistic for Anthony Richardson. And now, now we got a chance. The Jets' defense are, aren't world beaters by, by any stretch of the imagination right now. So, he can go out there, have a big game, get us to our fifth win. And like you said, everything's still out there for us. Good luck, AR. Go Good get him, AR. You got 2. this. 2.0. And AR, I would like to uh, apologize for the fact that I didn't know that the building was just like not a professional one, you know. What? what when? If you look, at, you look at the Ring of Honor up there, the Colts. Mm -hmm. Man, hard not to. You got Hall of Famers all over the place. Mm -hmm. That building they're in right now, much nicer than the shitty ass building that we were in. Okay, you got better facilities, you got better opportunities, you got better everything in that building, and somehow it's just regressed to getting much worse. And these guys, and there's a lot of vets in there that have been around a long time, like have a little pride, you know? I know it's hard to do sometimes whenever you lose and lose and lose, and these guys have never won. Okay, these guys have never won. Mm -hmm. They haven't won a fucking thing, this group, at all. Still wearing the jersey, still getting paid. Let's go do it now. 
Why not flip the switch? Yeah. You're getting mocked and ridiculed by everybody. Not just me, obviously, I, although I am in the city. But whenever I hear you're lazy and you're not taking care of things, it's like you're blowing an opportunity to what? Make a point? Way to go. Way to go. 20 years from now, you're going to be able to say, yeah, we wanted to play like shit because we wanted way to go. I hope it works out. But now is the time. Hopefully, they rally and they move on. Yeah. Enough talent in there. Definitely. You got you got the talent, but we talked about it. You got it's the little things, day to day meetings, practice, walkthroughs from the vets, from the coaches, from the front office, from ownership on every every level. You got uh, everybody's got to be tied in on the same page to win on this level. We know how fine that line is between winning and losing with organizations. So. It's still out there. We're not, you know, two and eight. It's not like the season's done. We still got opportunities. Yeah, it kind of sucks because we got no chance at the top five pick again. But <laughs> yeah, it's the <laughs> worst case. Hey, we, yeah. we, no, we got to play a home we playoff got a, game still. We got a top five <sighs> pick at quarterback right now. Anthony Richardson starting this weekend for the Indianapolis Colts against the Jets. The Colts obviously still have a road to the playoffs and a road yeah. to an AFC South championship, believe it or not. <laughs> now, Houston Texans <laughs> have Nico Collins coming back, and maybe they're going to look different going forward. They've hit a little bit of a lull. Who are they? What are they? I think there's some people questioning it. We are a team now that has gone back to our number four overall pick from a year ago, Anthony Richardson. AJ, your first reaction whenever you hear that? Well, you left part of the tweet out. Didn't it say for the rest of the season? Like, that's a big thing, isn't it? Saying he's in for the rest of the season? That is a huge deal because Joe Flacco was the starter for the foreseeable future until he wasn't. And then now, AR is the quarterback of the team. And there's a lot of Colts fans, you know, that have been mad at me calling out. Uh, what AR did. Now, I don't think those people understand ball or they understand uh, the quarterback position as a whole. Uh, whenever I say, like, can't be doing that as our quarterback, especially as a 22-year-old, and we're building this entire thing up around you. But I think there's a chance he did learn about how he has to operate a little bit differently. Anytime you're publicly scrutinized by everybody, I'm the only one, obviously. There's a lot of people that have played football ever in their life that a city can't do that. That can change some people. He's young enough to change. He's obviously incredibly dynamic whenever he's on a football field. Maybe the Colts go on a run here with this change, and maybe Shane Steichen was able to go right the course of the culture behind closed doors over the past few days. Yeah, I mean, I, it, he probably doesn't need to have any, like, huge wholesale changes. I, that's the thing that could have happened. Like, being taken out of the lineup, not playing when you're actually healthy and you can go – it could wake you up. It could scare some people and realize, hey, this can be taken away from me pretty quickly when I'm still healthy and can feel pretty good. So, yeah, maybe it will wake him up a little bit, maybe wake the rest of the team up. If they come out and get up to, like, a fast start, and honestly, like, I think the rest of the team could feed off of that as well. Jets defense, since Coach Brick has taken over, uh, since Robert Sala has been fired, has been much worse than they were at the beginning mm -hmm. of the season. Obviously, it's top five defense, top five defense, top five defense is what everybody has said about this Jets team, which is why everybody was so excited about Aaron going there, because the last time Aaron had a top five defense, they won a Super Bowl. So you just yeah. figured that that would be the case. Now, over the last few weeks, this Jets defense has not been that at all. So it's not a bad time to maybe get AR back in there. Mm -hmm. That Vikings defense was um, very good. Stop. Bill's defense was very good against us. This Jets defense provides an opportunity maybe for AR to get hot and then he's got the Lions. So. Which, which is obviously uh, a buzzsaw. But if we're going to go anywhere we want to go, these are the teams we're going to have to win. And I mean, it's not like they need to. They don't need to beat the Lions. But if he plays well in that game, or at least doesn't have one of these performances that he's had, because you're right. I mean, we saw what happened with the Jets last week with the Card. The Cardinals got on ahead early, and they're like it was over. I mean, there was just there was no. So like, if they do have a fast start, and there's no question, he adds that element that you know Joe Flacco doesn't have. So if he goes out there, and I think you guys are right, the whole piece of gum thing. Like, if you're that young, like you could probably recognize pretty soon, like. I'm about to blow my chance here. Like, I have a chance hopefully, to have... Yeah, hopefully yeah, that happens. Exactly, exactly. Well, I mean, we'll see, but, I mean, I, I would imagine, you know, like, it, it was probably a pretty big wake-up call. Like, he doesn't want to be sitting on the bench and having the camera come to him constantly, and then he looks on Monday, and it's like, oh, great, they, they got me again, you know, like, looking Yawning. disinterested or whatever. Yeah, so, huge opportunity. And if you're going to... If this team wants to utilize me as the person to motivate you for calling you uh, unprofessional and an embarrassment to the Colts, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm cool. Whatever sure. motivates you. I, I don't care. I'm paying season ticket holder. I'd like to see you guys play good football. That'd be great. Yep. And meaningful football. You guys haven't had a fucking primetime game in years. <laughs> got flexed out. Jeez Louise. You just got to see progress. That's the thing. You got we, we don't expect, you know, AR to be a, an all-pro or pro bowler right now. You got to see progress. I can only remember... 
two, and I played with both of them, their rookie year, who I felt like they were ready to play immediately. Andrew Luck was one of them, and then Cam Newton was the other one. They were completely so different good. quarterbacks, but they both played well on the college level, played a bunch of ball. They were different between the ears, though, and they, they were natural-born kind of leaders in their own right. So those are the things that Anthony Richardson, you want to see that progress. And, and the, the NFL is obviously the toughest place to do that. You learn those things on the high school level, <coughs> on the collegiate level, and then in the NFL you're playing with a bunch of grown-ass men, and you are – put up on that pedestal as the starting quarterback. So, once again, he saw it from a different perspective for a couple games. Now he's back in there as his team again. And as a coach fan, as a coach or organization, this is the guy you want going forward to just continue to, to be better good. and better. To be great. Yeah. Yeah, you don't draft a guy top five to be, you know, okay. And you talking about the Lions and, you know, all these teams, any of these teams, we got to beat them if you want to go where you want to go. So, it ain't, it ain't duck, duck and smoke on this level. Yeah, the Vikings and the Bills certainly uh, – Great teams. Boy. They showcase a little bit of a differentiator between sure. them and us.